When so many people are hungry and dying, where do you start? We know there's enough to go round, but still, so much poverty. Where do you start? You start here. Leaders from 189 countries have signed up to end poverty. Make them keep their promise now. We have a plan. The Millennium Development Goals. We have the money and the means. What we want is action. Attack is the best defense for fighting disease. Take Brazil. Aggressive campaigning here has half the number of people expected to get HIV AIDS. Dress your wheelies. Do you know what condoms are for? Are you having sex? Well, are you? No. Well, even if you never use it, take this condom and practice on your own. But what if your defenses are already down? We want to keep you a little bit longer so that your headache goes and this pain in your chest is treated. Mm. Vincent is Ugandan. He has meningitis caused by HIV AIDS. Nine out of ten HIV positive people live in developing countries. Most can't afford the drugs they need and die from secondary illnesses, especially TB. Not feeling good, okay. Could it sleep because of the cough? Goal six, to combat diseases like HIV, AIDS, malaria and TB. Eversy is a teacher. She was dying until she started taking antiretroviral drugs which delay the onset of AIDS. And I began feeling stronger and I was able to go back to work. Pressure on drug companies has forced the price of antiretrovirals down, but they're still unaffordable for most. Yes. Barnabas and Mary were farmers. They used to feed ten. Now, their neighbors feed them. When AIDS claims a life, it means one less worker to produce food. Food is the first medicine for any disease. Going hungry makes you much more vulnerable. He has chronic anemia and if he's got malaria, as malaria is a cause of anemia, the anemia becomes worse and this can kill him. You understand the cause of this is not anemia, it's the malaria that kills the child. Every 30 seconds a child dies of malaria. Mosquito nets can help, but cheap as they are, for most people they're still too expensive. Mitama from Nigeria bought one for her children 22 years ago. No, I can't afford to buy another net for my husband, myself, my children. My income is very low. I have to struggle with this one just for the sake of my children. In the West, malaria has almost been defeated. Perhaps that's why there's not yet an effective vaccine, because the people who really need it couldn't afford it. But what if rich countries were to guarantee the drug companies a market by promising to buy vaccines once they were invented? Use your brains, improvise. It's a crisis. And in every crisis, methods of dealing with it can be found. Sita is a Nepalese volunteer, informing people about HIV AIDS. As in most places, talking about HIV is frowned on here. But Sita knows ignorance can kill. What I feel is that I can continue to share my knowledge with my friends and make them soba volunteers. Slowly, with children like us, the country can overcome the situation. There is no cure for AIDS. Without treatment, most of sub-Saharan Africa's 25 million HIV-positive people could die in the next 10 years. That could create a food crisis and leave 20 million AIDS orphans. I'll be coming again to see you later on in the evening. Mm. Mm. Vincent is one of the lucky ones. His family has found someone to pay for the treatment to keep him alive, for the time being. The Millennium Development Goals. Make our leaders keep their promises. Eight goals, one world.